The 1960s were a time of great change in the United States. A decade of war, counterculture revolutions, and social movements. The 60s saw the rise of many social movements, of which the most prominent was the African American Civil Rights Movement. But while the Civil Rights Movement was making huge leaps in their goal of fighting against discrimination and racism towards Blacks, in the Southwest, the Chicano Movement was fighting for the rights of Mexican Americans. Chicanos were treated as second class Americans. Among other things, the Chicano movement fought for equal rights for farm workers, for voting and political rights, for an education system that better served their community, and for awareness of their history. Cesar Chavez, a founder of the NFWA, later the UFW, was probably the strongest voice of the movement. Though originally a derogatory label for the sons and daughters of Mexican immigrants, uh, during the 1960s, Chicano became a symbol of self-determination and ethnic pride. The earliest examples of Chicano art appeared in conjunction with the marches and strikes of the National Farm Workers Association, or NFWA, now known as the United Farm Workers of America, or UFW, led by Cesar Chavez. Some of the first and most lasting symbols of both the Chicano movement and Chicano art appeared on farm worker banners and posters such as the UFW Eagle or the Chicano Power Fist. Thus sprung the Chicano art movement, an emergence of Chicano expression developed into a full-scale Chicano art movement. Chicano visual art, music, literature, theater, and many other forms of expression flourished. Murals were a form of art often used to depict the untold story of the Chicano community living in the United States. 